I think maybe me being really young, you know, I was quite naive, I was terrified. Um, he was older than me, you know, I didn't really know this man. And I just remember being against this tree and I just remember, you know, I don't feel like I was there mentally. I think my body was there, but I had, my mind had gone somewhere else. And I feel like that was a coping mechanism to get through the trauma that I was, you know, facing. And I completely switched off from it, even though there was no emotion. I was just froze, frozen with fear, I think. And it's just, yeah, that's how I managed to get through the whole trauma and get home. Even before we met, I um, spoke to my dad. Obviously, I was really young. Um, so to me, you know, you tell your parents most things. I told my dad about him, um, said how old he was. And my dad was like, well, if a 22 year old's going to take you out, you know, I want to meet him. And him being a police officer, I just thought, you know, you'd understand. But he didn't want to meet my dad. So I said, you know, we can't talk no more. Um, a couple of days later, he messaged insisting that he's going to meet my dad. You know, he really wanted to take me out. So we obviously arranged. Um, it was going to be to the cinema um, and then nearer to the time before going out, he did message me and say, the film I've picked is a bit later time. Would you mind taking that? Like, would you mind coming with me to a park first? So, you know, I think being 16, being quite naive, you watch films on the telly, you see, you know, people walking hand in hand in the parks, quite romantic, loads of fountains. And that's probably what I pictured, you know, our, my date to be, you know, I stroll through the park and then head to the cinema and then I get home and everything's safe and sound. But obviously it was, complete opposite to that. Yeah. It was a bizarre, you know, I was really withdrawn from that point, you know, not really talking a bit. Well, I was terrified, I wanted to go home, that's all I wanted. I just prayed that I was going to go home now, that it was over. But it continued on, you know, he was talking and joking like, everything was normal, you know, we went to another park and he went and played on the children's swing and it was all just really surreal that he acted so differently and it was just really, it was really bizarre. I only knew about um, the other victim coming forward when um, he got out for an appeal. Uh, he got his appeal, sorry, and um, I was asked if I'd like to do a retrial. Um, from that time, I did hear there was another complaint. I'm really glad that I've been able to help her. You know, I feel like I am, like, I really respect her for coming forward and it's not an easy thing to anyone to do. And I'm really glad that because of my justice, maybe helped her get her justice.